Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, April 16th, 2020, 4-16-20. Uh, today I have three Bible verses, actually, that we're going to be thinking about and looking at, and they have to be your memory treasures for today. Um, everyone has Psalm 34 and Psalm 37, those selective verses, and then we'll save uh, the third and fourth graders verse from, verses from Numbers 6, because that's the benediction that God had asked Aaron to bless the Israelites with. Uh, from the book of Numbers. Today I want you to really think about what does it mean to be in exile. You read yesterday about how the Lord was going to take the Israelites and the people of Judah, all the people of Judah, all of Israel, and they were going to be put into exile. Why? Because they sinned. They fell away from the Lord. And did you notice that often uh, the people followed what their rulers did? How important it is then for us to pray for good leaders in our country that we can follow their ways and if not that we stay still firm and strong in our commitment to what is right in the eyes of the Lord no matter what our rulers are doing. Have you ever been in exile? Separated from others? Aren't we right now a little bit? Sure. Because of the virus that we have um, in our world right now, we're separated from one another. It's like we're in exile. We're not able to um, go to stores as we usually did. We're not able to come together to worship as we usually have in the past. We're not able to come to school and join together as we have in the past as well. So right now we're, we're in exile. Because of the coronavirus, virus, we have to be in exile. We have to be separated from one another. Well, we had the worst virus of all that separated us from God, and that was our sin. And yet, we see that God took care of that virus, our virus of sin, by sending Jesus. He sent Jesus down to take away our sin. He was our vaccine, you might say, or our antidote. And he took away all of our sin. And he suffered the worst exile, as we read yesterday. He was separated from God. And so now we don't ever have to fear separation from God. Let's read the uh, words from the two verses in Psalms, if you would. So the first one I'm going to go to is Psalm 34, verse 16. And the words that you have to memorize today are just the first part. The face of the Lord is set against those who do evil. Have you ever gotten in trouble with mom and dad and they're so angry they can't even look at you? They turn their face away. Their face is set against you. The Lord's face is set against those who do evil. Now we have to remember we do evil as well. We, we also have to remember that we are forgiven. We can come back to the Lord and we can repent of our sins and we can be assured they are forgiven. Now even with that verse there, if you read that entire psalm, I like the heading for it. Blessed is the person who takes refuge in God. And here King David is talking about his enemies, that the Lord is set against David's enemies as well, our enemies as well. And then if we turn to Psalm 37, verse 9, uh, the title of this one is also, and this is a psalm also by David, Do not fret because of evildoers. You know what fret means? Don't worry. Don't worry because of evildoers. And so if we read from 37, verse 9, uh, right before that, verse 8, Let go of anger and abandon rage. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For evildoers will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the earth. So your actual memory treasure for today, For evildoers will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the earth. What wonderful words to be assured that even in our problems, even in our sins, God is with us and he assures us that he will bless us and that he will watch over us. And we don't need to fret because of our um, troubles or our problems or the virus around us or that we can't be together, that we are separated. The Lord will bless us. Have you noticed blessings that have come to you even in the midst of the trials and tribulations that we have? I wonder, uh, Pastor Strand was just talking to me about this uh, the other day, I wonder if this past Easter Sunday, 
if more people actually heard the gospel because it was on the internet than any other time in history. Isn't that amazing to think about how God turns this problem that we have and turns it to be something special and to be a blessing for us? We certainly have a king of glory, don't we? Speaking of that king of glory, would you sing with me? The king of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the king of glory? How shall we call him? He is Emmanuel, the promised of ages. In the king of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. In all of Galilee, in city or village, he goes among his people curing their illness. The king of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. And those are the words that you'll need to tell me or sing to me tomorrow, your memory treasure for tomorrow. There was one thing I forgot to open up with uh, this week with our devotion yesterday, and that is we can bring Alleluia's back. Yay! What are some of your favorite hymns that have the word Alleluia in them? There are so many Easter hymns that have an Alleluia in them, but one of my favorites is hymn 154. Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. And that's the refrain of that song. It just uh, fills me with joy. And that song has been kind of going through my head the last few days. So Alleluia, we can give praise to God for all that he has done for us. And now we certainly want to sing the verses of our closing hymn for Word of God, and that is Jesus, Shepherd of the Sheep. And again, let's sing all of the verses today. Jesus, Shepherd of the Sheep, who your father's flock does keep, safe we wake and safe we sleep guarded still by you. In your promise firm we stand, none can take us from your hand. Speak we hear at your command, we will follow you. By your blood our souls were bought, by your life salvation wrought, by your light our feet are taught, Lord, to follow you. Father, draw us to your Son, we with joy will follow on. Till the work of grace is done, there to live with you. We in robes of glory dressed, join the assembly of the blessed, gather to eternal rest in the fold with you. Amen. We can look forward to that day most certainly. So again, you have a new story to read today. Uh, Israel and Judah taken into exile. It's the next two pages in your Bible storybook. And then discuss with your family the questions on the bottom of the second page. All right. Several other things for us to do today in our work. Uh, but we always want to start with God's word. And here are the words that God asked Moses to give to Aaron for him and he and his sons to tell to the Israelites to be able to bless them with these words from Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. And verse 27, in this way, they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. How blessed we are to be called Christians. 
that Christ's name is on us. Alleluia. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Looking forward to seeing you soon.